time. If the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And they will play it safe here and bring this one out to the 25. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now looking to pass Aikman on first down and that is nearly intercepted oh that would have changed things here in overtime but instead it's just second down keeping the aggression going on defense in overtime here a first down blitz you know you can get burned on it big time if they pick it up but in this situation they brought the blitz put some pressure on the QB and he wasn't able to complete a pass downfield on play action, Aikman. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlines, but incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Two straight incompletions. Now the pressure's really on. Last thing you want here to start overtime, a three and out. And I know that a few years ago when they changed the rules about overtime, it may have changed a little bit about how you go about things, but bottom line, and now we've got a review here. All challenges in overtime, of course, initiated by the replay official here in the stadium. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Aikman. Flush to his right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hurt. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Now Aikman looking to throw. He's going to let this go for the end zone. And this will be caught. Touchdown. They need it. Thinking that that was something that just drew up 